Hi guys, it's Endlessly here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am sharing another family house, except for this time the house is centered around a sim who loves to garden. So it is a garden dream home, at least that's what I was going for, so everything I did in this house I did with the gardening skill in mind, or for a sim that loves to garden. I wanted there to be lots of plants and I wanted it to feel really naturey and overgrown so the yard is definitely very overgrown. There is a sunroom attached to the house which I think is so pretty. It's definitely my favorite part of the house. The lighting in there is just so nice and then there's also a full garden in the back and just lots of little knickknacks and things around the house that I thought a gardener would like to have and I was also thinking of a farmhouse while building it so I think a bit of the exterior looks a little bit farmhouse -y. Um, but I also wanted it to look a little bit rustic and kind of bohemian so I don't know how well I pulled that off because I was trying so many different styles at once so it's a bit of a mess some things are a bit mismatched but I think for the type of sim that I had in mind I think it works perfectly so hope you guys will like it um, it has been on the gallery for a little while so maybe you have downloaded it um, but yeah I just unfortunately hadn't had the time to record a voiceover for it but I am now I've also been doing some kind of just other building with the new expansion pack seasons and I've also been messing around with glass roofs so I will definitely have some more builds to share with you guys um, definitely having a lot of fun with these items I love the purple swatch by the way um, that came on a lot of the furniture well there's two purple swatches one of them is like a lighter one and one's a darker one um, they're both gorgeous so I went a little bit overboard especially in the living room area of this house so if you're not a fan of purple I apologize because there's a lot, but if you do download it, I think you could easily change up the swatches to suit your taste or your Sims tastes. Um, and this house does have three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Um, there's a, well, I designed the rooms to be for one for a teenager, one to be for a kid, and then one to be the master bedroom. And the kids room is so cute because I, I was thinking how your kids can now be scouts. There's like a, is it a skill or a it's a, a scouts activity for kids. Um, I definitely had that in mind for the kids room so it's really outdoorsy and it's super cute. I really like it a lot and then for the teen I imagined them to be kind of artistic. Um, I just put an art easel in there and made it look a little bit artistic I think. Um, that's what I was going for but the parents of this house I kind of imagined both of them not just one of the parents is obsessed with gardening so yeah that's their whole life um i had a lot of fun creating the little garden area and it was kind of tripping me out a little bit because i was i placed the plants and i was like why aren't they all growing and i totally forgot that um they won't always grow depending on the season so if they're out of season the sim or the plants won't grow and yeah i don't know i thought that was a bit weird but it it took me a while because what i did was i downloaded um a room from the gallery that had like a bunch of plants already grown on it and some of them that I was placing they were just like they were just little mounds of dirt and I was like what is happening and those they were out of season so that's a bit funny um so you'll notice that in the screenshots and all of the plants um aren't grown even though it's summertime so some of the plants will be ready in the fall some will be in the spring I assume some will be ready in the winter too so I thought that was kind of cool um, very realistic and so right now I'm just working on the structure it did take me a little while to get it all sorted out I did record the entire floor plan but I did have to cut it out I'm not sure if I cut all of it out but this build took me forever and when we get to the interior you will see why it took me so long because I put so much detail this is probably my most detailed house ever and I I went a little bit overboard there's a lot of clutter and a lot of knickknacks and just a lot of stuff everywhere and this porch back here I don't end up keeping it because when I sorted out the floor plan it didn't really make a whole lot of sense for the bedrooms so um, we get rid of that in the end which I think it looks a lot better with without it so I'm pretty happy about that and I also change up that little kind of turret room do you still call it a turret I'm not really sure but where the bay windows are go I just keep the one downstairs and the upstairs one I get rid of so you'll notice that change in a little while um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way this house turned out. I really like the floor plan. I was working off of a floor plan from Pinterest, so that was really helpful. So I was able to kind of do the exterior while planning the interior floor plan. Um, so I think that turned out really nice. I feel like anytime that I do that, my floor plans turn out great. The exterior isn't always the best because I'm so worried about the floor plan making sense. So I don't know. It's kind of a 
it's kind of a toss up which way is the best way to do it for me. I, I think my favorite way is to just build the exterior and then if the interior is whatever, then you know, if it's not the best floor plan, I can get over it. But uh, this one, I kind of wanted it to work, so it's nice. It's nice to try different, um, different techniques, I guess. But um, as you can see, the build is pretty much coming together. I'm just sort of trying to figure out how these bedrooms are going to be laid out. So even though I was working off of a floor plan, it was still a little bit tricky, but I do end up getting everything in that I wanted there to be. So that's always really nice. Um, I know my last season's build, I wanted there to be three bedrooms and I could only fit two, so it was very frustrating. But some of you guys had some great ideas to revamp the sunroom into the master bedroom, which I think would be so pretty. I think that would make such like a romantic master bedroom so if any of you guys did that and want to send me screenshots I would love to see them you can definitely send them to me on Twitter I would love to take a look that'd be so nice okay so I decided to do some of the interior decorating before I did the landscaping so actually all of the interior I do before I finish the exterior um because I just really had no idea what I wanted to do but this is the sunroom oh my goodness the light is not turned up yet so it's still morning light right now so the lighting isn't that great but I'll change it here in a second and it's so, it's so pretty. I am obsessed with this room so much. <laughs> I love the terracotta flooring and these new flowers that we got with Seasons are so pretty. They do kind of have harsh shadows, at least that one um, that's like a, has a cactus on the bottom and then has another shelf with this like kind of succulent thing. I don't know. It's like a, Oh, I don't know what you call it, but it has two plants on it. It's not the big wall of plants. It gets pretty shadowed if you use that on the interior. So I hope they fix that because a lot of the plants that came with Jungle Adventure are the same way. They have really harsh shadows. You'll see me pull out some of the plants from Jungle Adventure, the like wall hanging ones. They're so pretty. So I end up putting those um, in here, kind of thinking they were like hanging baskets. Um, I think they look really pretty. And this chair that came with, oh my goodness, movie hangouts. Right? That's what it's called. I always want to see, say the Bohemian stuff pack because everything's so boho, but um, uh, I really liked it in this, in this room. I thought that looked really pretty. And so here I am using one of the Jungle Adventure plants. And this one, um, the other one that I just pulled out, I really wanted to size it down, but it has a, an extreme shadow. So sometimes when you size down objects, the shadow, you can't notice it too much because I don't think the shadows actually sides down um, or sides up they pretty much stay the same but um, some of them are just really harsh so here I was trying to create my own sort of flower wall thing but I don't really like the way it was turning out so I end up placing a shelf there with a bunch of like little clutter and knickknacks on it instead which I think looks a lot better and I end up placing this wall hanging plant over there and just raising up the roof a little bit so it wasn't clipping through or anything and I think it looks really cool even though I couldn't size it down I still really like the way it looked oh and that basket of towels and like a pillow that came with seasons I am obsessed I I probably used it way too much in this house but it is such a nice piece of clutter and it comes in the, the prettiest colors and I'm just absolutely obsessed but this is definitely my favorite room in the house so definitely let me know what you guys think because I think it turned out so pretty and if I ever play in this house my sims will be in here every day all day doing whatever they can um, there's also the woodworking bench in there and the flower arranging table so your sims can do either one um, but this is the entryway to the house so just using a lot of seasons items so even though this build is not a seasons and base game only build or a limited pack build at all. I did use all of the packs. When I uploaded it to the gallery, you can see um, the packs that I used and it's like all of them. So, um, but I did try to make the main items be from seasons. So a lot of the, like furniture and decorations and stuff are from that pack. So if you don't have it, then don't worry. I'm sure you can replace the other items with, um, you know, the items that you have in your game. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to think, what's another major one? Maybe Jungle Adventure and Parenthood? Um, it's definitely a possibility, but um, yeah. So here I am working on the living room area and you'll see in just a moment, it becomes very purple. <laughs> it's very, very purple. But um, there I am using that other couch or the same couch that I used in the sunroom from uh, the movie hangout stuff, just in a different swatch. I thought it worked perfectly there in the corner of the living room. Um, 
This is so pretty. I am so happy with these purple swatches. I never thought I would be so excited about a purple couch, but I really like them. I actually like a lot of the swatch colors that came with these couches. Um, usually when we get a new couch, I like love the design, like because they've been adding so many pillows, but I don't always like the color choices. But these ones, I think a lot of the colors are really pretty and very versatile. Versatile? <laughs> Can't talk, but I think they look really pretty. And, um, so on this shelf over here, I do add lots of clutter. Um, yeah, I just went a little bit overboard in this house. So if you're not a fan of that very lived in vibe, you may not exactly like this house, but I was definitely going for a look of very lived in and yeah, just Sims that have just stuff everywhere. I mean, I didn't want things, I didn't want it to be so cluttered that your Sims couldn't move through the house. I didn't want it to be like in the way, but I wanted it to look like people have lived here a long time. So they've just been collecting things and they have, you know, it definitely shows off their personality. So that's what I was going for. Um, yeah, definitely not, let me know what you guys think. And I really like those lamps that came with Seasons as well. I think that is really pretty, the one that I'm placing right there on the shelf. I think it came with some really nice colors and yeah, it's a nice design too. So very happy about that. And I did think that this, um, the Sims that live here would have at least one pet. So I did put a cat, little cat house in here and I put a food bowl in the kitchen and a litter box somewhere, I think in the downstairs bathroom. Um, so yeah, they can have a cat or a dog or both. I imagine they had both, um, maybe a couple cats and a dog. Who knows, whatever you wanna have. Um, but I definitely imagine this to be like a full household of, you know, two kids, two parents, and then like three pets. Is that a full household? No, you could still have one more. So maybe you have another kid at some point. Maybe you turn one of the kids' rooms into like, have like a bunk bed or something, the kids' room. I, so that's something that we really need. You can create bunk beds with move objects. I've talked about that a few times recently, which maybe I should do more often, but I really want actual bunk beds from EA. That would be so nice, because I think I would do a lot more, like of these smaller, I mean, this isn't a small house, but like a, a house that only has like two, two kids' bedrooms or one kids' bedroom, but you could fit more than just one kid in there a lot easier, because, you know, sometimes bedrooms are just small. But anyways, I'm rambling and it's not important, um, but this is going to be the dining room area. So I do have that bay window seat with the new bay window um, seat again um, that came with Seasons. And it, again, in this purple swatch, I think it's so pretty. I really like the design of this one compared to the ones that came with cats and dogs. Because I feel like it looks a little bit more... I don't know, I just really like the textures of the fabrics, I think, with this expansion pack. They look really natural, and it actually looks like the fabric is stretched over each cushion and pillow. I think it looks really pretty, and here I felt like with those curtains, there was a little bit overboard with the purple, so I ended up going with the cream curtains instead. Then pulling out a china cabinet, or china hutch, whatever you want to call those. Um, I don't end up leaving both of them on the either side of the archway. I felt like it looked a little bit too symmetrical and matchy-matchy for the vibe I was going for in this house. So um, yeah, other than that, I just do like a side table and a chair in here. It took me a little while to figure out exactly what I wanted to have in this dining room, but I do change this dining table for the one that came with cats and dogs because I really like the like rustic wood pattern on the top. I think it's really pretty and it was definitely, I think more of the style I was going for in this house. So I definitely like that a lot. And then, um, yeah, I just add a few more decorations. Nothing too much I can say about this dining room really. I mean, yeah, I have nothing to say about it. Um, but I have been doing some other building. I have been playing with the glass roofs and just kind of messing with the season's items in general. I'm very excited to share more builds using these items. And um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of things you'd like to see, maybe apartments or different little houses, I definitely want to do some more season season themed builds. I want to do um, some that are more winter themed, summer or um, even like fall, I think would be a lot of fun. Maybe like a Halloween house, that would be pretty cool. So if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, I would love to hear them. Um, so please let me know. But anyways, so I, videos will be a little bit slow for the next week or so because right now I am house sitting for my grandparents. They're away out of town and we'll be back for a week or so. So I can't actually record videos over there because my 
desktop is at home, but I'm getting my laptop all set up. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can record videos on that. I used to actually do all of my YouTube videos on my laptop, and if you go back and look at my older videos, you'll notice that the quality is it's, it's a lot lower and there's a little bit more lag and it's definitely not the same as my uh, desktop, but I will see. Um, but I'm downloading the latest version of The Sims and also the last like four or so, maybe five um, expansion and stuff packs and stuff that have came out. So um, I don't imagine that it's gonna make my computer handle The Sims any better because it's always struggled with it. So I imagine the extra content's only gonna make it worse. So we will see, um, but if not, I'll just kind of play around, maybe try out some ideas. If you guys have any suggestions, maybe I will just mess around with those ideas. And yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, maybe I'll just do some gameplay and mess around with seasons because I haven't really got a chance to do that yet either. So that would be a lot of fun too. Um, but yeah, the dining room is pretty much complete. Um, this is, yeah, I just kind of pick out a picture to put over here. I try to use that wall plant so much. I kept thinking that maybe I'd be able to use it. I don't, I don't know, as if I was going to pull it out and it was going to behave any differently and the shadow was going to disappear. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I was thinking, but I think I just end up placing a, a picture over there or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but this is going to be the kitchen and I did skip over the the bathroom and laundry area. You'll see everything in the screenshots, but there is a small little bathroom in between the entryway and the kitchen, and then there's a laundry room right in front of it. So you may be able to see it a little bit as we're building the kitchen and stuff. But uh, uh, like I said, this build did take me a very long time. So I did have to cut stuff out that I normally wouldn't cut out. I wanna say this build took me like six hours. It was some absurd amount of time, but I really think it was just because how much detail I really did put into this build so I don't know maybe I think I went a little bit overboard um but I do really like the way this kitchen comes out I did use um that tile that came with the jungle adventure stuff pack game pack not stuff pack um for the backsplash in the kitchen so that tiling that's back there I think looks really pretty and I use that is like an accent in the bathrooms as well so very happy with that and then other than that I just put a bunch of little decorations up on the counters trying to make it look lived in and these are the counters that came with parenthood so I think those look really nice and then the shelf that I have right here is from jungle adventure also and I think it was a really nice wood texture I felt like it matched really well with the parenthood counters and um yeah, then there's the island in here so your sins can sit down and have some breakfast or some coffee and chit chat with somebody who's cooking. They don't have to just sit at the dining table and yeah, that's about it for this room though. I don't think I add too much more. A little bit of decorations on the island countertops and then I think I put a food bowl over by that little corner. Oh, I know what I did forget. I forgot to put a garbage can in here. So if you download this house, you may want to put an indoor garbage can because there is two, there's two um, bins outside for trash. So you can use those, but you may want one on the interior as well. So it's something you probably want to add. Um, and then this is the upstairs landing area before you get to the bedroom. So just up at the top of the staircase. And I imagine this to be like the home office area or like a little hangout area. So there's a computer, um, there's bookshelf and yeah a couple random <laughs> random decorations um, but yeah really nice area to be able to use the computer and again I filled up this shelf with as many things as I possibly could but um yeah I think it looks really nice just kind of messing around with sizing down certain objects and placing them on a shelf I thought was a little bit fun and this shelf also came with seasons and I think it's really pretty I think it's a little bit big though I've had to size it down every time I've used it but it still works really good um, it's just, it's a little bit more challenging to place things that automatically snap to shelves because then they want to still snap to the original location of the shelf. So that can be a bit pain. I love that little succulent board. It has an extreme shadow though, which is a bit frustrating. I haven't noticed that too much in other people's games. So maybe it is mine because I do have a no, no blue lighting mod in my game. So maybe I'll try to remove that and see if that helps with some of the extreme shadows I have on some of the plants. I mean, I do notice a lot of the shadows in other people's game, but that second little one, I don't think I've really noticed too much. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this upstairs area. I just add a few decorations on this little side table. Um, and then I think I put a little plant on the wall. And this is the, gonna be the family bathroom for the kids to share. So it's the most cluttered bathroom. Um, 
So it's pretty similar to the one that I did downstairs except for it's a full bathroom. And then the parents' bedroom will be pretty similar as well, but I did have to cut that one out of this video because this build was gonna be like an hour um, and I, yeah, it was just gonna be too long. It was so frustrating. I hate cutting out rooms, but it just had to be done. Um, but I do add a lot of little decorations and clutter in this bathroom. I fill up the counters and then that shelf that I put above the toilet, I fill with a bunch of little stuff as well. And yeah, I just really like the way it turns out. So hopefully you guys will like it too. Again, using that basket clutter item because I'm obsessed and I'm probably going to use it multiple times in every single build from now until I quit playing The Sims 4. Um, but here I am decorating that shelf that I was talking about. So I just put a lot of little clutter items, a couple of um, towels. I think I removed one of those and I think I get like a little candle up here or something. I just really like that bit of detail so it was just things like this that made this build take forever but I really do like the way it turned out and um so if you do have maybe a computer that doesn't do well with a lot of items being on one lot this might not be the best build but um I'm still really happy with the way it turns out so oh well um that's just how that is but um yeah so next we are going to decorate the teenage bedroom and at first I was going for a lot of gold and white accents it it looks pretty pretty feminine and really girly but I kind of tried to mix it up a little bit and add a little bit more blues to sort of tone it down and cool it down because I felt like it looked really warm and kind of shimmery <laughs> I guess because of all the gold but I do really like the way this room turns out but I definitely imagined it would be for a teen sim who wants to be an artist and probably just picked up a lot of really earthy kind of um, things about their personality from their parents. And I even put a couple things from City Living, like one of the um, protester boards and the megaphone. So maybe they go to the city and kind of protest and maybe spray paint and just maybe they're in that sort of that sort of scene. I think that would be kind of cool. So really happy with the way this turned out. And they so just changed that curtain to the blue swatch, but I, I feel like it just toned it down so much and made it look less kind of in your face. I felt like it looked a little bit gaudy, I think is the way I was feeling it was looking. But that blue, I felt like just toned it down and looked, it just looks really pretty and very happy with that. Those curtains are amazing, by the way. They come in so many pretty swatches. Like I think as, as far as all of the expansion packs go, um, in the, yeah, all the game packs and stuff packs, I feel like they did the best with the swatches in this pack, even though it didn't come with as many items as other packs because obviously they had to work with so much with changing all of the plants and seasons and everything. But the items that did come in this pack are so well made and the swatches are just perfect. I love them so much. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, but this is about it for this teen room. Um, it's a pretty small room, so I couldn't really fit a whole lot, but I think it turns out really nice. And this is going to be the kids room. And I think this room is so much fun. I'm so excited to do my own gameplay and try to kind of test out the whole scouts thing. I was never a scout as a kid, but if you guys were, definitely let me know. What was your like favorite part of it? I did 4-H. I mean, maybe that counts. It was an activity, I guess, that I did as a kid and we had to do like fundraising and, um, you know, get together and do activities together. It's not exactly the same, but that's what I did as a kid. So if you were a scout, let me know. Um, either a Cub Scout or Girl Scout, right? Those are the two. Are there any other ones? Um, maybe it's different in different countries or is it just a is it just an American thing? Let me know, because I really don't know anything about it, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to play with in the game. I think it's gonna be so cute. And um, yeah, so I just tried to make this bedroom look naturey, and I think it turns out really nice. I pulled out the little scout handbook, um, and then they have the scout board. I'm not really exactly sure what they can do with that, and a school project, because I put those in like all of my kids' rooms, because I think they're so much fun. It's one of my favorite things that was added in Parenthood, is just the kids being able to do more activities and stuff, so I definitely really like those school projects. And um, that, so I did play test the sim being able to use that computer desk though. Um, so it wasn't a problem. Um, they shouldn't have any problem using the bed either. The sim that I was playtesting this house with was being a big pain and trying to put everything away that I had decorated in this room. So I did end up locking the door. So I don't think I ever checked the bed, but I did test the desk and then I just locked her out of here because she kept trying to put the scout book away, put the journal away and something else. And so I just had to I had to get her out of here. Um, but you shouldn't have any problems. I don't think you can actually use that bookshelf, 
because it is blocked by the bed and the, the desk, but there's other bookshelves in the house that um, you should be able to use no problem. So, um, but yeah, this, this is probably my favorite out of all the bedrooms. I think it's so cute and I love doing outdoorsy kids rooms. They're probably my favorite to decorate out of any style. Um, and then this is going to be the parents' bedroom, and their bathroom is already decorated, but don't pay too much attention to it because I did actually change it before I took the screenshot, so um, I just really wasn't happy with it, so yeah. Um, you'll see it in the screenshots, all completed, and you can, of course, download it from the gallery and see what it looks like, but the, the sink area stays pretty much the same. I just moved, like, the toilet and the shower around. It was just bothering me. It looked a little bit weird. Um, but I do really like the way the parents' bedroom turned out, bringing more of that purple in that I had downstairs because one of the parents has to be obsessed because, yeah, nobody would have this much purple in their house if they weren't obsessed. So it's purple curtains. And I really like that they added that purple color in this bed. So the bed cover, the duvet cover, is like a navy, but then the pillows are that purple color. So I felt like it just tied in so nicely and it was so easy to do like an accent color in this room and not making like the purple the main feature and like really overpowering. So I was very happy with that and I think it turned out really nice and yeah, just adding a bunch of clutter around as I've been doing this entire build. I know I'm probably gonna have so many people comment about how many times I've said clutter. Anytime I do one of these builds that are super cluttery, people are always like, geez, you say clutter enough? It's like, well, yeah, that's kind of like the whole point of what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but um, I do really like the way this bedroom turns out and just really happy with these items. Like I've said before, this the season's items are so pretty. These beds are so nice and those lamps. And uh, I was gonna add a a, like a lounge chair over here but I didn't really think like it looked it didn't look quite right so I think I just leave a couple of like plants over there and kept it kind of simple and then the side table I do clutter up with some books and a few little items which I think looks really nice and then that'll be it for the interior so um, everything that I did skip over like I said will be in the screenshots so the two bathrooms in the laundry area, but everything else I was able to keep in, so very happy about that. And there's also gonna be floor plan screenshots. Um, even though I did build some of the floor plan on camera, it wasn't the entire floor plan. So if you're curious how it is all laid out and want a good screenshot of it, they will be at the end of the video. The last two screenshots, I always share a couple of floor plan shots for those of you who like to see how it all works and flows together. But now we are doing the landscaping. So the landscaping is very overgrown and I wanted it to look um, kind of messy, I guess. Um, I mean, it still has a tidiness to it. It's not like a jungle or anything, but I wanted it to look a little bit unkept, like they don't have a gardener. These Sims do everything themselves, but they kind of let it go a little bit wild because they just love the plants so much. And um, yeah, I just had a lot of fun with it. So there is a full um, garden in the back. There's also a swing set and a place to have like a barbecue area. And then there's also the clothesline so your Sims can do their clothes outside if they want to be a little bit eco-friendly or if it's, you know, a nice warm day, then they don't have to use the washing machine. But if it's raining, then they can use those. And I pretty much used the same plants throughout, just lots of yellows and greens, which I thought looked really pretty. I love those little low-lying thistle plants, I guess is what you call them. Um, do they come with romantic garden? Um, but they're those little yellow bush things that I used throughout, which I think are so cute. And the swing sets, and of course some um, little planter boxes. And then I pulled out it was probably a little bit too quick for you to see, but that bucket that your Sims can throw water balloons in, I haven't used that yet, but I think that is gonna be such a fun item to play with. So I put that over by the swing set. And there's no swimming pool back here, but you can definitely add one. There's probably plenty of room. You just have to rearrange a few items, but I didn't really imagine it would be the type of house to have a swimming pool. Um, just felt like that was a little bit extravagant for this kind of simple house. I mean, this house isn't simple, it's like, 130,000 simoleons or something, but I wanted it to look a little bit more modest than um, the type of house I would have like a swimming pool or hot tub, a little bit more simple than that. So that's what I was going for. And this little clothesline area and they got the wash tub out here. And then, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I just kind of repeat the same plants over and over. I did cut out some of the landscaping because it was a little bit repetitive and not totally necessary to see me place the same plants over and over again. And this is the little dining area so your Sims can eat outside, which I think is so cute. And this one also came with cats and dogs, so it has that same sort of design that their dining table has, which I think is just really pretty kind of rustic pattern that I like a lot. 
and I do fill in the garden with plants from the gallery. I downloaded some like different rooms and placed in. They're mostly vegetables, I think some fruits and herbs, um, but no flowers. It's all just like basically vegetable garden items, which I think is really nice. And I got a bit confused. <laughs> I was placing plants and I'm like, why aren't some of them bloomed? Because I'm so used to the old gardening system, but now that we have seasons, they're not always in season. So some of the plants will be ready in the winter, fall, spring, and this is summer when I'm uh, in the game right now, but uh, yeah, they <laughs> just, I was like, I felt a little bit dumb because I was like, what's wrong with these plants? And I downloaded another room and tried to replace them and I was like, why aren't they growing? And then I went to go click on them and the the game told me they were out of seasons and I was like, or out of season. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Um, but I'm very happy they did that because it's very realistic that um, not all of your plants would be ready at the same time of the year. And um, yeah, so that's about it for this backyard area. I just add a few more plants around and I do add those plants in the garden off camera, but you'll see everything in the screenshots. Um, I do decorate the porches too off camera. So quite a bit in this build is off camera but it wasn't one that I wanted to split into two builds because I definitely want to keep those for like definitely mansion builds and this wasn't one that I wanted to split up so did have to cut some stuff out hopefully it doesn't bother you guys but everything is in the screenshots you should be able to yeah see everything that I did and I do end up switching up the wallpaper on the exterior at the very end of the video you'll see me add it right now but yeah we are almost in screenshots so thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!